Hello Capricorn and welcome to Soul Guidance with Adriana. I am a transformative life coach and abundance consultant. I help sensitive souls work on themselves and their business. I have an intuitive message for you today about your journey. We're going to start with a message from the animals. This is the sacred ibis, card number 22. When I think of 22, I feel the master number of four, building a strong structure. And this card has the energy of learning, of wisdom, of building. And so when we're looking at building a structure, we're not just looking at doing the right things and putting the right people in place. We are looking at the full knowledge, full awareness of what you're doing. Okay, so awareness and knowledge and awareness of how you're using that knowledge, that is a theme for you this week, Capricorn. Okay, let's get started with your other cards. The wheel is where we're starting a shift. This is interesting. We're starting with the idea of flux. And with this card, depending on what's going to come next, we can be looking at the upswing or the downswing. But let me just, let me just clue into this card for a little bit. My guides are saying very quickly, be ready for change, be open to change and understand that change is on the way to a greater evolution, a better sense, a better reality, essentially. Okay, so be open to change, be looking forward to the change. All right, because the more we go with it, the smoother it is. Okay. Beneficial energy, the lovers. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> and energy that holds you back, two of, two of swords. I almost said two of choices there. Okay, now we have these two, whoops, there she goes. We have these two cards playing off each other. And the theme with these two cards, the positive and the negative side, is decisions and choices. And why are we making certain decisions? Again, awareness, being sure of your knowledge comes into this, okay? Both cards are asking you to make a choice, to take a stand. But there's a positive and there's a negative way to do this, all right? So Capricorn, the positive way to make choices is to make sure that they are totally aligned with what you truly value. Okay, um, I'll give you an example from life. I am looking for a new landscaper and I found someone yesterday and I liked his prices. You know, his prices were fairly reasonable, but what I didn't like was basically his business model. His business model was all about what is best for him. Okay, so he's overcharging in some aspects um, so he would charge you a set amount a month to clear your snow. Even if there's no snow, he will still collect that money from you. But in months where there's lots of snow and he's out shoveling a lot, he would ask to be paid more on top of that flat fee for snow removal. So there was that and there was also this idea of flexibility where he kept shifting his prices around while he was talking to me. After he followed up with me, the prices kept moving. So on one hand, I could say, well, I liked, I liked the amounts, you know, those are affordable. I think they're reasonable, but I don't like this shiftiness because I value integrity in myself and in those that I do business with, because I want to be able to recommend whoever is working for me. You know, I want to help their network grow as well. So he's not aligned with my values. His business is not aligned with my values. Therefore, I would not make that choice. Now the two of pentacles choice. This is what the challenging type of energy, the challenging choice will be one where you feel torn back and forth, where you can't figure out which way to go. Okay. And what you're missing is that alignment with your core. Okay. When one choice seems okay and one choice didn't seem okay. If I were not, so if we look at that past situation I talked to you about, and I'm thinking, well, but his price was good. Yeah, but something didn't quite feel right. Yeah, but his price was good, but yeah, something didn't quite feel right. I could have easily gone back and forth, but I chose to really align myself with my core values. And therefore, there is no wishy-washiness, you know? I knew the minute I got the follow-up text from him 
actually I had about four or five signals beforehand that was telling me, no, this isn't a good fit. But the minute I got that text with these sliding, sliding numbers, I said, no, nope, we're done because I was aligned with the values and that type of knowledge and awareness, again, our master 22 is going to be so helpful to you this week. If we're talking about a business venture, if we're talking about a potential partner or what to do, if you find yourself going back and forth, unable to make a decision, it's because you're not aligned or tapped into your inner compass, your inner wisdom, your inner sense of yes and no, right and wrong. Okay. There's a value that you're overlooking. Okay. Let's get a little bit more I like to go. I like to go even deeper with these. Okay, three of swords in the chariot. Once you decide to stop fooling and betraying yourself with the wrong choices, you will find not only a sense of victory, you know, something working out for you, but you will also find yourself moving forward on your path much faster than you were before, okay? This three of swords energy are choices that aren't right for you. Okay. So that would be for me a choice hiring this guy to do snow removal and it might snow tomorrow and I might have to do the removal myself, but it would be the wrong choice to entangle myself with that energy. Okay. Sometimes we end up choosing things because we're in a hurry or because we want to please someone else, but there are times when you know you're being pushed away from what's really important to you. And I think a lot of this happens because we're impatient for the results. We're impatient to see where things are going to go, you know, or we, we just want it resolved yesterday. Okay, but this Three of Swords is asking you to wait a little bit longer, Capricorn. Make sure that you're really okay with the decisions you're making. Make sure you feel good about them. Make sure that there is no chance of teetering off of it once you've made that decision okay any decision that you make that feels a little teetery or that still feels a little insecure it's the wrong decision for you and you need to wait just a little bit longer until you find the right one okay capricorn thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your time and energy they're not available yet but they are coming I have these amazing solstice and New Year's readings. I've designed a whole new spread. Um, it's amazing energy that comes through on multiple levels for you. If you can't wait and you want to get on the wait list, please email me soulguidancewithadriana at gmail.com or just look out for it in the next coming weeks. I'll look forward to seeing you next time and have a fantastic week.